Hey guys, um, I have something really fun today that I'm super excited about. This is a little collab. It is the, I had to write it down because I'm like, kept like blanking out. It's like too many words for my little brain to process or something, I don't know. It's my top 10 summer essentials collab with Leslie Nicole Lifestyle. Um, she and I, uh, actually there was something I had posted on Instagram a while back that she was like, oh, we should collab together. And I was like, oh, that'd be great. Well, then it was sort of like things just, I, who knows what happens, life happens, I guess. And then um, just recently she had sent me another message and was like, hey, like, let's look at something to collab together. And I was like, yes, yes, I want to do that. So um, this is kind of like, she actually came up with this idea. So I was really excited about it. Um, and I'm excited to see what her top 10 essentials are compared to mine. So you will have to definitely check out her channel to um, find out what hers is. So go right here to this link to see her video to find out what her top 10 summer essentials are. And um, of course I will leave her channel and her Instagram information in the description box below. And definitely tell her that I sent you, tell her hello, um, show her some love and support. You will love her. Okay, this girl is gorgeous. Like if you go to her Instagram, which you should, Every picture I'm like not fair not fair because she is so pretty and like her friend takes her Instagram picture how fun is that and she's just you're gonna love her you're gonna love her she's got great energy she's super nice she does really cool content like I just love her so I think you will too um so let's get into this because as you all know, I tend to be a little long-winded. And if you're new here, if you're coming from Leslie's channel, thank you so much for coming by. I'm excited that you're here. Um, let me know if you're here from her channel. It's, that's fun to me to just kind of see and how we connect with each other. Um, so let me just get into this. I am long-winded. I'm going to try not to be, but I can't promise anything. So first off, first, first item that is my number one top 10 essential and, I, and these aren't going to be in any kind of order really but this one truly is my number one um is my contigo water bottles i have two of these i have a blue one and a pink one um the auto seal which i'll try not to pop water everywhere you have to like literally push at the back to open up where you drink so then you can pour um these suckers you can throw them in a bag they can roll around your car they aren't spilling. Nothing's leaking out of them. They're not going anywhere. I love these things. They have a little thing here so you can hook it onto your bag or whatever. Um, but having water with me at all times during the summer is like totally important. I like, I feel panicked if I don't have water accessible to <laughs> me. That sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Um, so yes, definitely my Contigo Auto Seal water bottles. Um, I also use the auto seal coffee like travel mugs. They are bomb. Like the best travel mugs ever. So my Contigo water bottle. Definitely one of my top 10 essentials. Um, let's just go for one that's like a duh no brainer, right? Sunglasses. Um, I actually, I'll just show you. I just got these ones this year because I have never had aviators before and people always try to get me to get them like my one friend was totally trying to get me to last summer before I was going on a cruise and I just would put them on and they didn't look right on me I felt like they looked really droopy and these ones I ended up finding at TJ Maxx they're juicy couture and I can smile and they don't push way up and um yeah and they got a little bling on the side which is totally me so you gotta have your sunglasses um over the years I've had several pairs of sunglasses but I typically get like the plastic framed ones and I find that I don't usually wear them because they there's something about the weight of them, I guess, that like weighs so hard on the bridge of my nose. And I am a migraine sufferer and you do not want to get me started with something like putting pressure somewhere or it's like no good. So um, these ones, perfect. Um, I'm finding myself wearing sunglasses a heck of a lot more because of them because they're so lightweight. So that is my number two. Number three. My face is oily as heck. In fact, right now I can see a little oil happening around my nose. I am an oil slick in the summer. Like you can see me shining from, I don't even know. I don't, from anywhere. I swear I'm like a beacon of light shining off this oily slick face. Ugh. So 
I always have oil blotters of some sort in my purse. Now these are just the e.l.f. ones, um, Shiny Racer. There's 50 of them and I can't even tell you how much they are, but they're super cheap. And they're just the little sheets like this that you just blot up your oil with. And I keep them in my purse so that like, as soon as I get anywhere in the summer before I get out of the car, I blot up like crazy. I am just, I'm just oily. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm kind of thankful for it because I think it's helping me like not have so many wrinkles as I'm getting older, but it's still, ugh, but definitely oil blotters. All right. Next up would be an SPF lip balm. Okay. So I like this banana boat sport. It's an SPF 50. I had something very unfortunate happen to me several years ago where I, this is terrible. <laughs> okay. So I found some chapstick, or not chapstick, but it was like a lip balm, and it was supposed to be an SPF. I found it like under my bed, and I knew it was kind of old, but I was like, eh, you know, like not really thinking anything of it. So it smelled fine, whatever. So I took it with me camping. Well, we go tubing down a river at this one campground that we go to, and so we had been out all day, and I kept putting it on. I'm like, oh, my lips just feel so dry. And I'm a constant lip balm user anyway, so... That's not unusual for me, but it felt exceptionally dry. So I just kept doing it, and I'm like, oh, man, my lips. By that evening, my lips swelled all up. I ended up getting little tiny blisters completely covering my lips. So my lips are huge, but these little tiny white blisters completely covering them. I looked like some sort of an alien. And then what happens with blisters? They pop. So when they started their popping stage, it was disgusting because then that liquid is like getting in my mouth. Oh, it was like a nightmare experience. So I ended up going to the doctor because after like almost a week, it was still so bad and painful. And he basically told me that because it was old, it can actually have an opposite effect. And so it basically like almost made it worse, like drew the sun to my lips and caused them to burn really bad. And he said that once you burn like your lips like that, that skin is so tender, you will repeatedly burn it if you are not super diligent about making sure that you have good SPF on your lips. So I get a new one every year to make sure that it's not old. And whenever I am in the sun, this puppy is on because I'm not doing that again. So that's another one of my essentials. See, I told you I'm long-winded. I got a little story for everything. I can't just say something. I gotta tell you all a little story. What can I do? So next up, is a book. This is my current book that I'm reading. I am a book reader like crazy, but I find myself not reading quite as much in like the winter and fall months, which is strange because that's when you're inside. But there's something I love about sitting outside with a book. And um, also we camp in the summer a lot, so it's the perfect time. I love to lay in bed like at night before I fall asleep. I read when we're camping and um, just sitting out during the day in a lounge chair, camp, you know, reading, whatever. So um, a book is a definite essential for me. Either I've got a book in my hand or my Kindle, but I honestly truly prefer to have an actual book in my hand. I'm just old school like that. And um, so that is something I have to have with me in the summer. Um, when I babysit, I just babysit one day a week, but I go to the house of the people I babysit for. And when the baby's napping, I go outside with the monitor and I sit and read. So my book goes with me everywhere. Um, next up would be nail polish. You have to have cute toes in the summer. So you need some bright, fun nail polish colors. Like, and I also really like this one. It's just kind of more of a pale peach, but these ones are a little brighter. Um, but yeah, I like have to have fun, bright toenails during the summer. Like, I can't stand to have unpolished toenails. I can't speak. Um, I don't know, there's just something so like blah about it to me. When you're wearing cute sandals and like wedges and stuff, you need some cute toenails. So I'm all about that. That's one of my essential summer things. Um, next up would be lotion and body spray. I wear perfume all winter, all fall, all winter. But spring and summer hit, and I love to layer lotion and body spray. So as soon as I get out of the shower, throw some lotion on, and I spray myself with body spray before I'm leaving. So that the scent's on my clothes then and stuff too. So these are actually some that I just picked up recently. Now, I realize I'm pretty sure that where you guys are in Winnipeg, because that's where Leslie's from. I didn't even mention that. If you're already one of her followers, you know that. But um, 
for those of you who are from my channel that will be going over to check her out, she lives in Winnipeg, Canada. So um, I don't believe that they have Meijer there because I know a lot of places in the U.S. don't have Meijer either. But um, it's basically like a Walmart but a little nicer. And um, I'm assuming you can get this brand other places. I'll have to look. But it's called Body Ecology. Um, this is in the scent Petal Away. I love it. The little, it's like a little play on words. Petal, like flower petals, but there's a bike. I'm a nerd like that. Um, and it says, the pleasant scent of mixed berries and fresh petals creates a dream getaway for your senses. This smells like when your hair is like freshly washed when you're getting out of the shower or something. I don't, I don't even know how else to explain it. It's just a super fresh, summery, clean smell, which I am all about. So, yep, I love to layer lotion and body spray. That is a huge essential for me for summer. Um, especially when you're going to be like sweaty and stuff. I'm trying to pack on as much good smell and stuff as I can because nobody wants to stink. And next is... I have to lean down and get these. Um, I love to have, like in the winter, I love a really cute handbag that's like bigger that I, you know, hold on my arm or whatever. Like, I love bigger handbags kind of in the winter, fall, winter months. In the summer, I want as little bulk attached to me as possible when I go places because I get overheated and that makes me freak out. Are any of you like me? Do you become like some monster when you get too hot? Because this girl freaks out. Anyway, so I'm like, I don't want anything that I'm having to like hang from my arms or ugh. So I am all about a small crossbody bag in the spring and summer. So this is one little one. It's like Errol. Um, I just think it's really cute and fun and just has a nice long, you know, crossbody thing here with a little stud detail. But right now, currently, I am using this one that is from Target. And um, actually my husband got it for me for Christmas because I pointed it out and he does this really cool thing where he kind of snaps pictures of things that I say I like and then he goes back and gets them for me for gifts. So this is my current one I'm using which I love because this packet fits my phone perfectly. I can put like my lip stuff right here so the stuff that I need like accessible quicker like that's great. And then of course this color this like blush pink color is the perfect like nude color that goes with everything. So that is a total essential for me having a crossbody bag. Also, like I said before, I suffer from migraines. Anything that like weighs down heavy on one side, no goody. So I have to be able to like put it, I like how with a crossbody, I can have it across, but I can actually slide it to the outside of my shoulder if my arm starts hurting, like if it's starting to create pressure. And that like helps me out big time. So some little tips for those of you who might be migraine sufferers. Um, next up is I am not a shorts wearer. I will wear them if need be because some situations you need to wear like shorts. I can't stand capris. I'm not even five foot one. I feel like a stouty little stubby mess if I wear capris. Like they just don't work on my short frame. Um, so what do you do in the summer if you don't like shorts? You wear dresses and skirts. That's what you do. And then you kind of always look put together because even in a very casual dress, you still just look, I don't know, you look put together. And um, also recently I just bought a bunch of little like spandex kind of shorts things to wear underneath my dresses. So I just feel a little more comfortable in case like a wind gust happens, because that has happened to me, um, that you're not like showing everybody your goods, you know. So I like to wear little shorts under them. And then, so here's just a couple little examples for you of what I mean. These are actually both brand new, so I can't wait to wear them. But just a little simple sundress like this, and it's got a little detail on the side. It's short, or like this pretty springy summer yellow, also short. It's got a little like more of a flouncy trim on the bottom. Um, but I love like, and they're very lightweight, so you're not sweating like crazy. You're actually much cooler when you have something like this on because some air can get to places that it can't if you're wearing shorts. And so that was so obnoxious of me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then also I love a good high-waisted skirt. So um, this skirt actually is a LuLaRoe um, Madison skirt and it has pockets which is cute. 
but they don't add bulk, which is awesome. But so this is just a high-waisted skirt, so I wear it like up underneath, you know, here, just down from my chest a little. And I love to wear it with just a simple black tee, and it just looks really cute and summery, and you feel cool and fresh, or you can wear it with a little tank. Um, but those are definitely my go-to essential, like, wardrobe type things for summer. And then I think that I only have one left. There's only one left. I think I'm doing really good because, like, I usually am, like, talk, talk, talk. My videos are, like, 40 minutes that I have to try to cut down, which I'm going to make this one that if I don't shut up and just show you the last thing. So my very last essential. Now, I am a flip-flop sandals wearer like crazy, right? But then there's like situations where you need like a more stable shoe, but I'm not a huge like tennis shoe or sneaker kind of person. Like it just doesn't go with like the types of clothes that I wear. Um, so I need something that can be a little more, give me a little more stability, but not be a tennis shoe, I guess. So I am in love with, and I took a long time to get on this bandwagon, but I'm so glad that I did because, well, let me just show you my essential summer shoe, aside from flip-flops and sandals, obviously, are Tom's. Oh, look, I got hair. <laughs> my hair gets everywhere. I'm not even joking. I have like unruly hair. Um, so Tom's, I love Tom's. I actually got my watermelon Tom's where my, I'm not even kidding, this hair is out of control. Um, my watermelon Tom's were my first Tom's I ever got and they're kind of the espadrille um, style. So they have this, um, oh, the hair, I'm like a dog. Oh my gosh. You know, like you go to people's houses and they have dogs and you leave and you're like picking the dog hair off. People come to my house and leave and pick my hair off of them ridiculous but anyway so they are like the espadrille so they have the braided like the jute um you know kind of stuff here and look at how cute they are I mean stop I'm like all about watermelon stuff I don't know why I'm like kind of obsessed with it so when I saw these I was like I need those and it was right by my birthday that year so I've had these for two years now um my husband was like just get them, just get them. You never spend that kind of money on shoes because I'm super thrifty. So if you aren't from my channel, you might not know that yet, but I'm like a super thrifty person. So for me to buy Tom's is like, but yeah, it, they were a birthday present. And then just my regular black ones because I wear these all the time, which these ones are actually way lighter than these ones are. Um, these shoes are fantastic. Like I wear them so much. They go with everything. They're super comfortable. And they're just the perfect everyday kick around shoe if you need something other than like a flip flop or a sandal. So like I'm thinking like if you're going to like an amusement park or you know things like that where it's like you're not going to wear flip flops on roller coasters. I mean you can but that's kind of risky. But um so yeah. So those are my top 10 summer essentials. And this is my collab with Leslie. And... I think she's amazing and I know that if you're coming from her channel you already know that about her um, but those of you who are from my channel please go check her out I like you will love her like I love her laugh um, she like just recently did a video with like her friend they got ready together and just you know there's stuff that they're talking about as far as being moms and just the different stuff it's just very relatable and fun like I was giggling about things that they were saying and um, She's just a lot of fun. I really like her. I'm so happy that she got on to me again about like, come on, let's do a collab together because I'm just really excited to do it. We have been corresponding with each other, all excited to do it. And um, she was like, you know, sending me messages like, did you record your video yet? And she was probably like, seriously girl, get on this because I kept being like, no, no. But obviously I got it done because here it is. And um, it was just a lot of fun. So thank you so much, Leslie. I think you're amazing. And like, I'm so glad that we've found each other and, you know, she's in Canada, I'm in the US. And um, so it's fun to hear, like, I'm sure she probably laughs about the way like my accent is and like, I like her accent. And um, I just think it's really fun to be able to connect with people, you know, from further away that you may never have known otherwise. So that is my favorite thing about YouTube. I've said that a million times, but it truly is. 
Um, so if you guys like this type of video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up and go to Leslie's and give hers a thumbs up too. And um, if you aren't already a subscriber, like if you're here from Leslie's channel or if you're just coming across this, I hope that you will um, subscribe to my channel and see what I have, you know, for you to check out. Um, I do book reviews, so um, you can check those out. I have like a playlist of them and I do hauls and I do makeup tutorials and just all sorts of random stuff. An occasional vlog, like, you know, I kind of just do what I want because it's my channel and I can just do what I want. So that's what's so fun about YouTube. But um, yeah, if you already are a subscriber of mine, then you already know that I love you and appreciate you. And I'm so thankful that you're here and that I know you're going to go check out Leslie's channel because you guys are amazing. And I know you wouldn't not go check out her channel. And um, yeah, you guys just make sure that you please hit your notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. And I hope you enjoyed this collab. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.